Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Today I'm making black eyed peas and sausage featuring rice. Would you like to help? Great. So what you see here is a sheet tray with some tin foil on it. And I've cut my sausage into half moons along with the medium sized onion. And I'm going to throw those in the oven at 425 for probably about 20 minutes or so until I get proper color on it. Here you'll see that I have rice already in my pot on the stove with a couple tablespoons of butter but no liquid. We're toasting our rice here. If you add liquid then you're steaming it. So at this point we just want to make sure that we get some color on the rice. Make sure you keep stirring and you want to get a nice brown toasted color. If you look here you'll see that the rice color has changed. You want to do that until you get a solid brown not a dark brown, but a, a nice light toasted color. It should smell a little nutty. If you need to add more than two tablespoons of butter, feel free. Or if you want to use oil instead, that's also fine. Now we're going to add in our garlic paste. That's about a tablespoon's worth. Or, you know, whatever your preference is. And we'll start adding in the other ingredients to include the two cans of beans and the four cups of chicken stock. Add the first can in and make sure you mix it around really well. That way you, you don't scald your rice from the, uh, the temperature change. So you dump that in here. You'll go pick up your remaining ingredients and add those in. And the way that this works is I'm using a pressure cooker here. Uh, you may be using a regular pan, which is perfectly fine pot, as long as you've got a lid that fits it. What you're going to want to do, after you get all your ingredients added in, you want to check for your seasoning, you know, and add your salt, your pepper, your cumin. Uh, if you want to add in any chili peppers or any other spices that you're a fan of, this is the time to do it. Check your seasoning, make sure that everything tastes good, and you're going to put it on the stove here. Bring it up to a boil, and once it comes up to a boil, you want to reduce the temperature down to the lowest setting. And just kind of keep, cover it, keep an eye on it, and in about 20 minutes it should be done. If you're using a pressure cooker like I am, similar process. You just want to uh, get your seasoning right, lock your lid on, wait until your safety valve pops up, and then uh, turn the heat off completely and wait about 20 minutes and you got pretty good rice. Uh, if you don't have a pressure cooker, I can definitely recommend one. It's definitely one of the most used items in our house. So if you're uh, looking to invest in old equipment, a decent modern pressure cooker is not a bad way to go. All right, so we've checked our seasoning, got everything going. I'm about to lock the lid on, and we'll be ready to start. Once that comes up to temperature, we'll turn the heat off for me, and... We should be good. The time that you want to check on your sausage and onions. It's probably been about 20 minutes or so. So check them, see if they've got color on them, see if they've got enough caramelization. If you're happy with them, go ahead and pull them out. If not, give them a few more minutes. Uh, make sure though, when you when you're ready to add them to your rice, that you use the tin foil that it's already on. The idea behind tin foil is to make cleanup easier. One and two. Also, to catch all the fat that comes off of the sausage as you cook it, so you can add it back to your pot. So, rice looks good. It's not soupy. It's not gummy. It's perfect consist consistency. So, now we need to add our sausage and onions, which we're going to do that here. And as you see, I used the tin foil, and all that fat is running back down. Make sure you get every piece of sausage off there. Because if you're like me, you're a fat boy and you like to eat, go ahead and mix that back up. And you're pretty much done. That's that's about how hard it is to make rice and uh, black eyed peas with sausage. You could also use uh, beans if you prefer, like pinto or kidney uh, or chili beans, black beans. Whatever your preferences are, I personally like the black eyed peas and the pintos are, are probably my favorite. Uh, so you can make that any way that you like. Um, go ahead and grab a plate and your serving bowl, which they're hideous, I know. We'll get new ones as soon as we can. Go ahead and scoop in a couple scoops and then you're going to add two or three 
sprigs of uh, cilantro if you have them to the top and uh, serve it with some cornbread like I did here or or if you uh, if you want to do another vegetable you can do that as well and you've got a pretty solid meal this will probably feed three adults twice so I would say it did feed about six adults roughly uh, or you know a full family you might get two meals go ahead and slice down the middle of the cornbread like I did put in a couple sticks of butter or pat the butter rather and you're all set well that's uh this episode of evil versus i know it's kind of uh a little sketchy but it's my second time doing this hopefully things will get better i hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you next time